Sulfam, Qcells, Aptos. What is the best brand of solar panel to install on your home as we're going into 2023? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about all things having to do with home solar power systems, renewable energy systems, battery backup, uh, and sometimes even generator systems as well. Uh, you'll find product release videos as well as head-to-head -head product comparisons, kind of like today's video here. Now in today's video, we're going to be showing you the top five residential solar panels as we're going into 2023. And there's been a lot of competition in the solar panel space this year, and I'm very, very excited to show you the lineup as we go into 2023. Some of the brands you're going to be familiar with, other brands you may not be as familiar with, but all of these are solid offerings if you're looking for a solar panel to install in your home in 2023. Um, as I mentioned on the previous lineup, one of the things that we've seen is that size standards have pretty much been abandoned. Although all of the module manufacturers stick to something that looks kind of like uh, either a 60 cell, a 66 cell, or a 72 cell form factor, the exact width and height and thickness of the solar panels is going to vary on a manufacturer by manufacturer basis. So be sure to check out the spec sheet if you're laying out your solar panel on your roof uh, or if you're using your design software, usually those dimensions are gonna be preloaded in there for you. Uh, but make sure that you take a look at the spec sheets so you know exactly what dimensions you're working with as you lay out your roof. And with that, let's go ahead and go to number five. All right, coming in at number five on the lineup is the Jinko Eagle Continental 400 watt all black solar module. Uh, and of course, the nice thing about the Jinko panel is, you know, it, it's cheap. It, it, it is one of the most, if not the most, cost competitive solar module on the market today. Um, of course, if you're talking about a tier one solar panel with a 25 year or better performance warranty, the Jinko Eagle is going to come in at a very, very price competitive point here. Now, one of the things you'll notice with this year's Jinko Eagle, uh, what they call the Continental, versus the previous generation, is Jinko has now moved to an all black on black design. Black frame, black cells, of course, and, and a black back sheet. Uh, and this has really been in response to a lot of consumer demand. Uh, the, the trend in the industry really has gone towards all black solar panels. If you're talking about a residential rooftop panel, and that's exactly the market segment that this product is designed for here. Now, the other thing I should mention about the Jinko Eagle is it is now a made in USA product. Jinko has opened up a factory down in Jacksonville, Florida area, and they're actually increasing the capacity of their factory to be able to pump out these Eagle Continental solar modules. So if you're looking for an excellent a uh, cost-effective solar module as, as well as an aesthetically, you know, aesthetically pleasing with the all black on black design, the Jinko Eagle is definitely something that you'd like to consider. All right, coming in at number four on the list is the brand new Silfab Elite 410 watt all black solar module. Now the Silfab Elite is a line that we've carried for the past few years. And Silfab, just like the number uh, five panel, Silfab Elite has always been a very, very cost competitive uh, solar project, but also a very aesthetically very competitive product as well with the all black on black design. Now with the new generation of the Silfab Elite 410, they've upped it a level again in terms of aesthetics because of the new module architecture. Now, if you recall our product announcement video about the new Silfab Elite, You'll recall that Silfab now uses a conductive back layer of copper to do the intercell electrical connections. So what that means is that no longer do you see the individual bus bars, you know, sometimes they look like little silver bars or little, you know, bars of solder on the top of the solar cell. Now those electrical cell interconnections are done on the bottom side of the cell. So if you look at the module itself, it looks much, much more like just a flat 
all black module. And similar to Jinko, Silfab has also moved all their manufacturing for the Silfab Elite onshore to the United States. So this is a 100% made in USA product now. So again, guys, if you're looking for a very cost competitive, all black on black solar module for your residential solar project, the Silfab Elite is something that you're gonna to wanna to take a look at as well. Uh, as of this recording, it's available in up to 410 watts per panel. Now I should mention this is a 66 cell form factor module. It's not that it uses actually 66 cells literally, but in terms of the form factor, the ratio of the width to the height, uh, this does conform more closely to a traditional 66 cell form factor. Uh, but again, all the dimensions on these modules are gonna be slightly different. So make sure that you're using a good design software like Aurora or something that's gonna have those specific module dimensions loaded in there so that when you're laying out your roof, you're gonna get an accurate, an accurate layout. All right, coming in at number three on the lineup is the Qcell QPeak Duo G10 All Black Solar Module. Uh, the Qcell seems to always find its way in the middle of the lineup in all of our top fives, and really no change with the 2023 lineup. I think what you're gonna find with Qcells is it's some of the best combination of price, performance, aesthetics, and warranty that you can find in one solar product. So it's not gonna be the cheapest solar panel out there. If, if you're just looking at price per watt, the Qcells is not gonna be the cheapest price per watt, but it's always gonna be in that competitive range. Um, likewise, in terms of performance, if you're looking for the most efficient or, or just the best warranty solar panel out there, Qcells is not gonna fit that range as well, but what it is gonna do is it's, it's gonna kind of find that sweet spot. If you can imagine that Venn diagram where you find that sweet spot between price, performance, and warranty, Qcells is generally gonna be right, right in the middle there. Uh, and of course, the Hanwha Qcells panel uh, is the most popular brand in the US right now for residential solar panels. So if you're worried just about, about the financial strength and the financial stability of the company, um, given that this is the number one residential US solar module manufacturer in terms of market share, uh, it does indicate that it is a financially strong company that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, there are two technical innovations that make the quantum panel or the Qcells panel different than some of the others that are on the market. And there's two new enhancements that make the G10 different than some of the previous generation panels. Now, the first thing is what you've probably heard of before, which is where they get the name Qcells, and it's what they call the quantum technology. And what the quantum technology is, is it, it's a reflective paste that's applied to the back of the solar cell that is able to reflect a portion of sunlight that otherwise would have passed right through the cell and hit the rooftop, it's able to reflect a portion of that back out the front of the cell, capturing up to 5% more energy and being able to capture and convert that into usable electricity. So that's the, that's the big performance advantage of the Qcells panel versus a standard solar cell. Now also new with the G10 solar panel is first of all, they have moved to a 12 bus bar design. So again, when you're talking about 12 bus bar design, what you're talking about is 12 individual current paths where electrons can flow from one solar cell to the next cell in the series. So what that means is basically it's giving the electrons more paths that they can flow through the solar panel. So if you ever did have localized damage or if you had shading hitting one part of the solar cell, it gives electrons alternate uh, pathways that it can flow through the solar module. So all that translates to is higher energy yield or shade mitigation, right? There, there's gonna be less loss due to shading or due to localized damage on the solar module by providing those multiple bus bars and multiple pathways for the electrons to flow. And then the other thing you'll notice is what they call zero gap technology, which means that the individual solar cells are directly butted up flush to one another. So you don't even really see any of the back sheet if you're looking at the module surface here. Where some of the older, older solar modules, you may have seen what kind of looked like a checkerboard type design. You'd see a little bit of a white back sheet uh, in between the individual solar cells on the corners. With the zero gap technology, the rectangular cells are all butted flush up against one another. So aesthetically, when you look at the module, 
It just looks like a nice sheet of black glass. And of course, since the entire module surface now virtually is functional solar cell, it means you're going to get higher energy harvest per unit of surface area. So for all of these reasons, the Q-Cells panel is a very, very solid panel. Um, Performance-wise, performs a little bit better than a standard solar panel. Slightly more expensive, but still in a very, very healthy competitive range. Uh, and of course, solid company and solid warranty backing the product. All right, and coming in at number two on the lineup is the Aptos DNA 440 watt solar panel. The Aptos DNA line has actually been our best-selling solar panel this year, uh, especially in some of our hottest markets like Texas and Florida. Uh, and I'll explain a little bit why the Aptos panel is especially popular uh, in those markets. Um, the Aptos panel was designed with extreme weather conditions in mind. Whether you're talking about extreme high temperatures, extreme low temperatures, uh, high wind rating, or even hail impact and hail damage. And so if you know, if you're watching this from Texas out there, you know in many parts of Texas there's a real threat from tornadoes as well as a real threat from just hailstorms sort of popping out of nowhere. I remember I was in Austin about a decade ago and driving around on what looked like a nice sunny day and all of a sudden there was just a hailstorm. And uh, it was pretty decent sized hail, about the size of ice you'd get out of the ice maker from your refrigerator. And so the Aptos panel is really designed to work well in those extreme weather conditions, whether you're talking about temperature, wind, or hail. Now, the panel does come in two different form factors. There's the DNA 144, which is a 144 half cell design. And then you have your DNA 120, which is a 120 half cell design, more, more like your traditional 60 cell module in terms of the ratio between the width and the height. Now, the other reason that we like the Aptos module in the Florida market in particular is that the Aptos module is the highest wind rated module that we have available for a residential solar panel. In fact, it's the only one that I've ever worked with with over a 200 mile per hour wind rating. Um, so if you're in Florida, particularly coastal Florida, where you're in that high hurricane wind zone where we have to build to a higher, a higher wind rating standard than other parts of the country, having a solar panel with an extremely high wind rating can be helpful for you as well. Um, and, and in terms of pricing, you know, if you're looking at you know, cost per watt or price per watt, uh, whether for the panel or for the installation, you're gonna find that the Aptos panel, despite being you know, in that sort of high output premium range at 440 watts, uh, on a price per watt basis, it's very comparable to other panels on the lineup. Uh, and for that reason, we rank the Aptos number two overall solar panel as we're going into 2023. And finally, coming in at number one is the REC Alpha Pure R 430 watt all black solar panel. Now, for those who've been following this space for a while, you know that REC has had a pretty constant ascent uh, up the ranks in terms of the top solar panels of the year. And this year in the, the 2023 uh, edition, they are ranked number one. A uh, big reason is because frankly, a, a lot of their competition has fallen by the wayside. Um, the LG Neon and the LG Neon R solar panels uh, are no longer being manufactured. And, and SunPower with the issues that they've had with their, their restructuring and um, the fact that, that price-wise, they tend to really price themselves out of the competition. REC now stands alone at the top of the heat in terms of best residential solar panels for 2023. And their latest generation is called the REC Alpha Pure R. Um, aesthetically, again, one of the best looking panels that are available on the market. If you look at the, the module itself, it looks like just a sheet of flat glass. You, you will not see the individual bus bars on the surface of the solar module. So aesthetically, great looking panel here. But the two things that typically set REC apart from its competition are the same two factors that we talk about most frequently, which are warranty and temperature coefficient. In fact, if you look at the spec sheet here, REC actually has one of the lowest temperature coefficients in the industry. Now, when we talk about temperature coefficient, what we mean is that when the solar panel has to operate in extreme temperatures, right, there's a certain percentage of power output that the module loses for each degree Celsius above the ideal temperature. And, and for test purposes, the ideal temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. 
Now, the REC Alpha Pure R has a temperature coefficient of only 0.26% per degrees Celsius, whereas a standard solar panel has a temperature coefficient closer to 0.4%. And what that means is that the REC panel, when it's operating in extreme high heat, which is very common in places like Florida, Texas, Nevada, Arizona, and even places of Southern California, what it means is the REC panel is gonna lose less power production because of the, the, the efficiency loss of operating at high temperatures. So all that translates to more total energy harvested over the lifetime of the system. So very important factor here if you live in one of those markets where you can have extreme high heat during the summer months. Now, the second factor, of course, is the REC warranty. Now, all solar panels degrade at a certain rate. In fact, a standard solar panel we expect is gonna lose about half a percent of its power production each year throughout the lifetime of the 25 year warranty. However, the REC premium panels only lose a quarter of a percent of their production per year. And therefore, even at the end of the warranty term in year 25, the REC Alpha Pure panels are guaranteed to produce at least 92% of their initial rated power out in year 25. So again, what this means is more total energy harvested over the lifetime of the system. So if you're considering this solar investment and you're in a home that you, you plan to be in for more than 10 or 15 years, or, or maybe you just, you just built or just moved into your forever home, looking at a premium solar module like the REC Alpha Pure R is something that you should at least take a look at. Although it's not going to be the cheapest price per watt on day one, if you consider total energy produced over the lifetime of the system, even if it requires a slightly higher upfront investment, having a module with the best warranty, the best temperature coefficient, and aesthetically one of the best looking panels out there backed by a solid company, in your case, it might be worth it. Well, folks, this has been the top five solar panels going into 2023 lineup. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that we post on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we post new videos, it'll show up on your feed and you can keep up to date with the latest product news. Um, of course, if you are in the process of getting solar panel quotes for your home, uh, if you'd like to get a quote for any of these options or, or any of the other popular options out there, um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below. You can schedule a short 15 minute Zoom call with one of our system designers and one of our, one of our experts here, and we can just talk through with you what your goals are and show you some, some options and some pricing. Well, folks, I thank you for taking time to tune into Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.